Listen in and join the fun. Learning as we go, new words and stories. Adventures begun. Let's open up the pages. Don't have far to look. It's all in a book. Rupees. Reading room. Rupees. Why, hello, little readers. Welcome to Ruthie's Reading Room. I'm Ruthie, and I'm here with my buddy, Ja. He's my favorite stuffy, and he's joining us for story time today. Can I get a hooray? Whoa, so loud and with such excitement. Awesome. That tells me you're ready to listen to a story, doesn't it? But I need to make sure you're really, really ready, okay? So I'm going to ask you to run and go get a stuffy or blankie, stuffy just like Jaw, maybe yours is bigger, and maybe some friends who would love to listen to a story with you. I'll give you a hint. You can even, if they live close by, go and grab your cousin and come on back, okay? Run and come back now. All right, all my little readers are coming back. I love when I see all your happy faces and smiling, ready to listen to a story. So for all of my regulars, let's ask the question on one, two, three. Which book is coming off the shelf next? Let's see. This is Jaws part. He loves to get the book, right? <laughs> He's my helper. All right, let's see. <laughs> Wow, this is a cool one. Can you handle it? I will help you. Okay, so we have, yep. Oh, you want to put it on your back? He wants to put it on his back. He likes to do that. All right, I'll put it in real close. Can we all read together? My first best cousin friend. Da 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 da, this is it. This book was written and illustrated by Lynn C. Page. Yay! There's Ja. He's excited too. All right. So what do we see on the front cover? We see two brown skinned girls. And it looks like they are super happy. They have their hands out, arms out. One is giving a thumbs up. And you know, I always give thumbs up when you're doing a good job, right? So they're probably doing really well. Awesome. That's just the cover page. It gives a few hints about what the story is about. But Ja, how do we find out more? That's right. We've got to read the book. All right. High five. Excellent, little readers. That's true. So before we get too far, I'm going to put Ja in his new reading spot. He's going to be right beside me. Okay. Here you go. All right. He's ready. And are you ready? Yeah, but I'm going to make sure. So let's put our listening ears on and put our hands in our lap. Awesome. But I got to check. I got to just make sure. All right. So I'm going to use my magnifying glass. Look out. Oh my goodness. Some of you took my advice. You're saying that's my cousin. Excellent job. Haley and Emily, you guys are cousins? Awesome. And you're sitting quietly and ready to go. High five to you and all of my little readers tuning in today. You guys are in for a treat. As I said at the beginning, my hint was that you can go and grab your cousin. Because do you know what today is? July 24th? <laughs> yes, it's a Sunday, but there's a special day being celebrated. And it's a celebration I didn't know about until I met Lynn. Isn't that cool? What do I say? We have to keep adding to our knowledge bank. So I found out today is National Cousins Day. Hooray, applause and cheers. So for all the cousins out there, near and far, it's your day. <laughs> awesome. So this book is a perfect fit to read today in Ruthie's reading room. 
So I'm glad to be able to share it with you. So now we know which book we're reading. I know that you're ready to go because you've got your listening ears on. Now what? We've got to dive in. That's right, little readers. And let's get to it. I'm excited and I know you are too. Let's find out what my first best cousin friend is all about. Dedicated to the real first best cousin friends, KLP and GAP. Thanks, Mother, for always supporting and believing in me, PPR. To my man, thanks for being my rock and my best friend, MHTSR. Thanks for helping me working it through, CT. To my first cousins, thanks for working it out, YPT and LMP. To my bestest friend, Wilhelmina Fingelhofen, who proves you do not have to be blood related to be family. And finally, to all of my family and cousins far and near, I will forever be grateful. That is awesome. So a few shout outs to a few different people. High five. Here we go. My name is Kayla with an H. It's not spelled wrong, just different. My mom calls me Buki. Sometimes she calls me Kayla La Buki. But you can just call me Lala. It's not as kooky. <laughs> Are you guys listening? What do we hear already? Ah, oh, that's right, Trevor. A few rhyming words. That's awesome. See, I know you're paying attention. This is Gabrielle. She is my best friend. Last summer, Gabby and her mommy moved back to her family's home in the Virgin Islands. She told me on the island of St. Croix, they call her Gabby Goo, but I call her Gabby, and you can too. Oh, what an honor. We just met her, and we get to call her a pet name too. At bedtime, I am so excited. I can't sleep. I have unicorns dancing in my head. Tomorrow, Gabby is coming for the whole summer. That's what my mommy said. Hooray, a visitor for the whole summer. Her best friend and cousin, no less. Wow, Kayla Labuki. As mommy tucks me in and kisses me goodnight, she tells me that Gabby is not my best friend, but my first cousin. What a fright. Hmm, what do you think Kayla is thinking right now? She just found out her best friend isn't her best friend. She's her first cousin. Hmm, what could that mean? All right, let's keep reading. I'm sure we'll find out. I thought Gabby was my best friend, and this summer we get to play and run. I wonder, what is a first cousin? And do they like to have fun? What do you think, little readers? Those of you who have cousins that you're close with, can they be your best friend? Yeah, you think so? All right, but what is a first cousin? Let's keep pressing on. Looky, Gabby is here. I've really missed her. When we get together, we act just like sisters. I have so many questions about being first cousins. I wonder if it's a really big deal. I will just ask Gabby after she gets out of the automobile. Right when we don't know, we ask the question. As soon as the car stops, whoosh, Gabby's on her way. Her first stop, the playground on the first day. I didn't get a chance to ask her about being first cousins. She is skating too fast. I guess Gabby is in a hurry to see some old friends from the past. Right? Gabby just touched down back home, close to her cousin, but who else is there? A lot of old friends, I'm sure, that she wants to connect with. So, Kayla La will have to hold on, hold on, Kayla, to ask that question. I hop on my bike and pedal as fast as I can to follow. I grip my handlebars and I take off like the Apollo rocket into space. Wow, I can hardly see Gabby anymore. Maybe we're first cousins because we both like going faster than ever before. Hmm, 
What do you think, little readers? Is it because they go super fast? That's what makes them first cousins? Keep it in mind. At the playground, we see lots of friends that want to play. We try to do a quadrillion things all on the first day. Then we all hear music that stops us right in our tracks. Is that how your parents or caregivers slam on the brakes? <laughs> I hope not. Hopefully they have way more time to stop. <laughs> hey, Gabby, I yelled, it's the ice cream man. Let's go back. Well, that's definitely a reason to go back because you guys know I love me some ice cream. Good call, Kayla. Gabby orders a double scoop with a cherry on top. Wow, it's so big. I hope it doesn't drop. Don't waste one single drop of that yummy, scrumptious ice cream. <laughs> oh, sorry. I think I started to get distracted by that ice cream. Let's read on. Now it's my turn, and I think I'll have the same. Mmm, mmm. Maybe we're first cousins because we both like strawberry ice cream. Wow, there's another idea that Kayla has come up with to explain what first cousins are. So that's a second option. One was that they like to go fast, and now she's thinking maybe it's because they like the same kind of ice cream. All right, let's keep reading. She may have some more ideas before we get to the end. Next, we hunt for ladybugs in the backyard. Gabby looks through the magnifying glass while getting close to the ground. Little readers, did you hear that? She's looking through a magnifying glass, sort of like this one. Hmm. Was that a coincidence I checked on you with the magnifying glass? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, looky, looky at what we have found. Maybe first cousins like to hunt for ladybugs together. Oh, now there's a third option. We're building up a lot of hypothesis. That is an explanation for why things happen or are the way they are. Yeah, we can expand our vocabulary too. Hi-pa-the-sis. Excellent. High five. Gabby and I love to play hula hoops, but it's hard to keep the hula hoop around my waist. Gabby says, the more you practice, the better you get. Wow, what a nice thing for Gabby to say. I wonder, is this what first cousins do? Help each other this way? Maybe. Mommy makes a pot of pasta Mardi Gras. Shrimp noodles and sausage. Mmm, mmm, yummy. It's like there's a party in my mouth with dancing noodles in my tummy. But Gabby sticks out her tongue and says, Yucky! Uh-oh. I think this might be the first thing these cousins don't agree on. I guess first cousins don't like Creole cooking. That means more for me. I'm lucky. Mommy says, Okay, girls, you had a full day of play. It's time to take a bath to wash the day away. We race to the bathroom to get super clean. I wonder, will first cousins still like to make bubble crowns? The best the world has ever seen? Well, let's take a look. It definitely seems that they still like to make the best bubble crowns ever. I think about the day and all the adventures we've had. I know I should be happy, but I'm feeling a little sad. I have a confusing feeling inside me that I just can't ignore. I still don't understand why Gabby is not my best friend anymore. So you remember at the beginning of the story when Kayla's mom told her that Gabby's not her best friend, she's her first cousin? That's still on Kayla's mind, right? So she had a wonderful day with Gabby, but here it is, bedtime, she's brushing her teeth and thinking, hmm, that's still nagging at me. Why isn't she my best friend? What's a first cousin? As Gabby and I get ready for bed, I finally tell her what mommy said. Gabby, I say, the words came out one after another. You can't be my best friend anymore because we are first cousins to each other. Now, little readers, what do you think Gabby's going to say? Okay, Tiana. Sh yeah.
Gabby might not know what first cousins are either. That's true. What else? Zach? Oh, she might be able to explain it. You're right. Okay, what else might Gabby say? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Go to bed. Okay, Peter. That might be her response. All right, let's find out what Gabby has to say about that. Gabby smiled and said, Oh, Lala, it's going to be okay. My daddy and your mommy are sister and brother, and that's what makes us first cousins to each other. Dun, 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 dun. There's the explanation Kayla's been looking for. Their parents are siblings, and in this case, brother and sister, right? It could be two sisters, two brothers, a mix and match. And then their children are first cousins. There you have it. And then Gabby says something I will never forget. We are first cousins connected heart to heart. Distance and time can't break us apart. Isn't that lovely? So Gabby came out with this awesome explanation of what cousins are and further touched my heart and said, even though she lives all the way in St. Croix, that distance will never break the bond that they, these two girls have. So sweet. I now know that Gabby is more than my best friend. She is more than my first cousin too. Gabby is my first best cousin friend, and that's something new. Well, isn't it? Have you guys ever heard of that before? My first best cousin friend? I think Lynn just coined a new phrase. <laughs> awesome. I'm happy again, and it feels good to know that Gabby and I will have more adventures tomorrow. But tonight, first cousins will pillow fight. Oh my gosh, all the pillows. I mean, crushed and covered. Good thing they're just made of feathers. <laughs> the end, my little readers awesome story about cousins on this National Cousins Day in the United States. For my little readers in Canada, I think we can celebrate as well. So if you have time today, you can reach out to your cousin. Maybe give them a call. Maybe get on a video call to say hello and see how they're doing. And if they are local to where you are, how about you guys get together, right? That would be so much fun on this special day set apart to celebrate cousins. And I'm going to encourage you to look in the description below. You'll find the link to where you can buy this book so you can have it in your own home library and read it over and over. Of course, with your cousins if they're nearby, right? And if you do order it, go check with your caregiver or parent. At the back of the book, Lynn has included some bonus features. She's included a definition of what cousins are in that special family relationship, and she's provided a template to fill in your own family tree. So you put yourself in the middle, and then you fill it out around you with your mom, your dad, your caregivers, and any siblings you might have, and you just fill it out from there. This is definitely a fun activity you can do as you're after reading homework, right? You can learn all about your family tree. That sounds like a great time. So I want to thank Lynn for sharing this book to share with all of you. And remember, the best place to read is wherever you are with a book. I'm going to suggest you make it this one so you can read it over and over and watch this story time and read it along with me. Okay? That's how we're going to build up our reading skills. Continue to practice and make progress. All right, Jaw. Oh, <laughs> Jaw's a little sad because his cousin is at close by. Yeah, that's okay. I'll give you extra snuggles today. <laughs> well, we love having you join us in Ruthie's Reading Room. We want to wish you a happy National Cousins Day to all the cousins out there. And we'll see you next time. Happy reading, little readers. Goodbye. Ruthie's Reddit.